It's been a while, guys, but welcome back to another episode of Andrew Plays. Uh, it's, it's your host, Andrew Ambrose, and as always, I hope you're having a fantastic day. Um, yeah, the year is almost over, and a lot of ha- things have happened, um, but I've stuck through, ver- I say very well, and I've made a lot of great friends, and I'm very happy about that. And I recently hit 300 subscribers, which is fantastic. Um, I don't, I was planning, I, I'm gonna do something for that. I I'm, I'm just need to find the right time to do it. If I don't do it, then uh, the video I'll be working on will be a sort of special for that. But yeah, I'm hoping to do something about that very soon. But in the meantime, today I decided to play a simple little arcade game you might not have heard of. It's Arabian, released in 1983 by Sun Electronics Corporation. That may might not sound familiar to most of you, um, unless I told you that Sun would later rename themselves to Sunsoft. Yep, it's the same Sunsoft that gave us games like Journey to Silius, Batman the Video Game, Fester's Quest, and a whole bunch of others. Uh, this was one of their earlier arcade games, and uh, it's a... It's a little primitive, but it's still a pretty fun game, and uh, it even got a Famicom version known as Super Arabian, um, which is pretty cool, and I enjoy that, and I enjoy this ver- original arcade version as well. Um, but, uh, yeah, but yeah, um, it's a simple game, but it's a fun game, and you might, ver- you might, be, you might find interest to in, know, this game was actually released in the U.S., not by Sun, but by Atari. Yes, that's right. Sunsoft license Sun, or Sun Electronics licensed this to Atari for U.S. distribution, and not only did they do that, but you might remember the game Kangaroo that Atari released. That was also originally a Sunsoft game that Atari licensed. So, yeah, I find that I find that pretty cool. Um, but yeah, we're playing the original Japanese version put out by Sun Electronics Corp. Um. That's pretty much just the gist of it, but without further ado, let's begin. I got my controller. I'm ready to go. That's a storybook. Nice little music there. Okay, the gist of the game. You play as a little Arabian man, and you're in different locations, and you have to collect these uh, pots with letters on them that spell out the word Arabian. You have to avoid all these monsters, which you can kick to uh, d- um, knock off the screen. Of course, I died there. Um, the game only uses one button, and that's for kicking. To jump, you have to push up. It kind of sucks, um, but I-, I kind of adjust to it, though it is a little hard rocking my thumb across the D-pad to accidentally jump when I don't want to. Um, um, there, there, you got it. <laughs> Yeah, I like the little music here. Reminds me of a uh, world-class track meet for Nintendo. Uh, but yeah, uh, um, Super Arabian on the Famicom thankfully um, allowed you to jump with a separate button. It's the it's the button order, all, however, is with B as jump and A as attack, which isn't correct. But it's better than this with the having to jump with up. But either way, it's I still find it fun. Yeah, it's weird that this game is called Arabian and has Arabian theme, yet the music is very American. With the uh, Japanese, with the uh, Super Arabian on the Famicom, they changed the music to be o- to be in more an Arabian style. But although the only setback is that it's the only song that plays throughout the entire game, as far as I know. Whereas with this, it's different songs for each um, page or stage, rather. Yeah, it's page because well, you see, you saw the opening thing; it was a storybook. It's like Super Mario Brothers, or Doki Doki Panic, rather, which took place in a storybook. I'm like, Super Mario Brothers 2, which took place in a dream. So, the levels weren't called, the worlds were not called chapters. And also, you'll notice that I'm collecting all of the bat, the pots in letter order to spell out Arabian. Doing this will grant you a large bonus when you beat the level. As you can see. 4,000 points. That's a that's a nice score right there. Page 3. Uh, now this is where it gets harder. 
You have these mad you have these flying carpets you have to get on. But you can't push up against them or else they won't let you jump on them. Basically. And you fall straight down, just like in Castlevania, so you gotta be careful about that. This game isn't perfect, but it's still f I still find it fun. Ah, crap, I collected- I meant to collect the A, I wasn't paying attention. And thank god, th thank goodness there's no fall damage in this game, because that would have been a major detriment. Having to fall all the way down and then just spontaneously die. Well, actually, no, the, not American, but more Western than Arabian. You know? The William Tell Overture, one of the most famous classic pieces of music, and one of the most commonly used pieces of music. Also, it's a good thing there's not a time limit. I'd be screwed. Because it's taken me quite a while to try to get up there. Oh, wait. Okay, I spoke too soon. There is a time limit. And I got smoked by those two guys. Kick powers, a rip. Kicking powers, protect me. Please. Protect me from the IRS. Alright, go get that A. Wish I could go a little faster, but whatever, it's fine. Oh god, aww, oh, nuts. Oh, that thing saved me. Good. Aw, oh, nuts. Oh god. And uh you can on you for unfortunately you can't attack guys while you're uh crawling. You know, I don't... Ah, oh, damn it. I missed. Ah, I forgot which button I was pushing, and now I'm game over. Hey, I got a high score. Kick ass. Alright, let's try this another... Let's try another... All right, I'm not gonna worry about the letter order this time. Just gonna focus on getting the, just getting the pots and kicking the enemies. I'm sure it's not a good idea, but whatever. I want, I just need to get back to the third page so I can beat that level. Cause I was so close the last time. Let's get over. Yeah. Yeah, you better run. You don't mess with the Arabian. Because he'll kick your ass. Literally, he'll kick you off the screen. With the force of a thousand bulls. Ah, crap. Don't you give me that. Well, the death the death uh, tune is Arabian style, at least. This game... It's an, uh, this game is truly an anomaly, but it's still fun. I've... I don't know if I've played the arcade version of Kangaroo. I know I've played the home versions, like, on the Atari VCS. But I don't know if I've played the arcade version before. I'll have to check that out soon. See how I like it. Bum, 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 bum. 
There we go. Alright, we got the... Alright, now we finish that page. Careful. That with those when those pink monsters emerge from the ground, it looks like those uh those uh things that Rolf gave Eddie in that one episode of that end Eddie. Like you remember that episode where Rolf wanted to share this cultural this food from his country that it was like these giant pink uh these pink uh these uh pink balls with green dots on them large things like they were food you ate or something like it was a delicacy from his country like everyone was kind enough to try them even though they didn't look appetizing but eddie was like he like freaking slapped it out of his hand and upset him to the point where he challenges him to a a fight with epic lightning effects or something. Yeah, I remember that episode. That was a that was an interesting one. I don't know if uh, I don't know if I liked it, but I definitely found it pretty cool. Um, not to mention the fact that uh, it did bring back the that that uh did bring that back that cool uh van that the Eds found in the. Dawn of the Eds episode where they went to see a space movie but accidentally ended up in a garbage uh, dumpster. I mean, no, in a garbage in a in a junkyard and uh, end up thinking they're on the robot planet that is in the movie. Yeah, that that episode I've always remembered it so fondly, so much so that I even made it my very first YouTube poop. It was of that episode. Hell, first time I ever did a YouTube poop tennis. AKA the only time, at least so far. I've only done it once. Oh, cool! I didn't know you could get up on the castle walls. Yes! Like, the, my first YouTube poop tennis was of that episode as well. Sorry, no bonus, but that's okay, I'll take it. Page four. I haven't, I've never gotten this far in the game, so. I'm reaching new territories here. Do 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 Good thing I have a jump kick. Dum bum bum ba da 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 dum. Yeah, get out of here. Dum do 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 do. You know the Can Can song. Not only does it remind me of this game, but it also reminds me of the Donkey Kong Junior Game and Watch Panorama slash Tabletop, and I died there. 
but I can enter my initials again. But, uh, yeah, um, I guess that, that'll do it for today. I could go a little farther, but I'll need some more practice. But, yeah, that's Arabian, an early game from Sun, but it's still a pretty cool game. You might not like it, but it's, it'll be good to give a try, and maybe you might enjoy the Famicom Super Arabian game a lot more, because they added a jump button to a separate button rather than just up on the controller. Though, yeah. But either way, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Andrew Plays, and I hope you'll join me again soon for another fun video on this channel. video I'm working on right now is a YouTube poop. It's going to be my last one of the year. It's going to be a really big one. I hope to have it out by the end of the year. M hope maybe before Christmas. If not, then definitely by the end of the year. This is, this is my Psycho Eddie YouTube poop all over again, except rather than 2019, it's 2020. But yeah, I've said enough for today. As always, thank you everybody for watching this video. I love you all. I'm Andrew Ambrose, and I'll catch you later.